And uh, let's approach Omaha from a different angle now. There are very few skyscrapers at Omaha. 65% of the population owns a house. Omahans don't like to move. They, 84% of them remain here where they are. And we drive a lot here in Omaha. And Omaha ranks very highly, uh, very high uh, nationally in terms of uh, life quality and other variables. Cindy, what makes Omaha attractive to newcomers and being them um, foreign born or born here in the United States? Um, well, for me, I, I, I kind of go back to the demographics. I like the diversity of the neighborhoods. So um, I like the fact that you can go west and you can see you may as a family want to move there and there are newer homes um, or south where there's a, in Sarpy County where there are newer homes also but you can also go there's a movement back to the river um, it's a little bit more cool now to live downtown and in the mid city um, uh, middle part of the city so I, I, I think as a newcomer this is just the variety and the diversity of things to do so housing is affordable in Omaha area? They say, okay. you this know, I mean, it's, it's um, I just wrote a story saying that it's, it's a, um, Omaha is ranked number seven in terms of the younger population, ranked seven among the 100 largest metro areas in terms of the slice of millennials who are homeowners. So, and that, and part of the reason is because um, housing is a little bit more affordable here and income actually our household income has raised faster than the national average too. Uh -huh. So, um, but yeah, so, so what do you say when a young person wants to come to Omaha? I say, you know, there's always different pockets of town that you can find things to do. If you have, um, if you're raising a family or if you're starting in, in, into a career and looking for um, uh, something here, there, there, there's something everywhere to find. It's just that you have to hook up with the group of people that know how to help you navigate the city. Education. Education is quite uh, quite good in, uh, right. here in the state. A lot of the public uh, schools have a good reputation, and there's different districts within Omaha. The, the largest one is Omaha Public Schools, but there's also District 66, uh, Gretna, Bellevue, uh, that that all have a good uh, reputation. And then kind of on, overlaid on that is the parochial school system in Omaha. It has, has a very healthy uh, uh, Catholic education system. Several high schools that are not too far away, spread around the country, around the city. Uh, I, I might mention things to do in the evening. You know, Omaha really has a uh, an art scene, entertainment scene. Usually, more things going on than you can than you can uh, than you can attend. Uh, sports are it, it's interesting. Sports, high school sports, are even big in Omaha, and yet Omaha has the College World Series every year, which is a really spectacular event. Seeing the best college players come to town and their teams. And Omaha yeah. has beautiful parks as well, and it's very clean for a big city. Right. You, you know. yeah, I mean, Omaha, uh, Creighton is a, is a Division One basketball team. Omaha U has a Division One hockey team. Creighton has a Division One soccer team. And the, and the women's sports, uh, Creighton's, Creighton's volleyball is ranked high yeah. uh, this year again. So it's uh, a lot of things going on. You may not have the NFL and the AFL, but uh, in terms of college uh, sports, we're uh, one of the meccas of that. Let me tell you, when we decided to move to Omaha, all we heard was cows and fields and uh, beef. It was a good surprise. It's a nice city. Well, education is, we are very pleased. We are public, uh, public uh, school parents and parks are really nice. And you know, one thing about, you mentioned housing prices. I mean, the house next door to mine sold for $70,000. Some people uh, went through and did some renovation and they've got it priced at 135,000. And a couple just came by and said they made a bid. Now, $135,000 house uh, is, is a decent house in Omaha. Not so in other places, you can't even find them at that price. So yeah. Omaha has lots of neighborhoods where they're reasonably priced houses like that. Right. And, and I agree with your, your um, um, assessment of the schools too. My kids went to public schools and, 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 and I hear that from a lot of people that there are good public schools and for ES, the ESL program, English as a second language is also, um, I understand, outstanding. So. Um, very dedicated so. teachers, yeah. There, there are challenges, of course, in Omaha, so um, I, we're, we're talking a lot about the, the great things, and there are great things going on. Um, but, you know, speaking of that, I always thought that one of the challenges in Omaha, since my kids are now in their early 20s and they graduated from college, um, one of the big challenges for Omaha is to find, with our 
great low unemployment rate is to really find, um, to better connect the growing populations in our community, which are people of color to uh, corporations and companies. And, and that's really going to be a key in, uh, in helping our community grow, both economically and, you know, socially and demographically. We really have to find better ways to connect the population. And keep the brain here yes. in the state of Nebraska. Yeah.